I fast every week. And sometimes during my fast, I get blood sugars in the 50s or 60s. If you Google it, you'll see it's dangerous. Why would I be okay with doing that? I know it isn't dangerous for me. And by the end of this video, you'll know, is it dangerous for you? I do a live show every week and I test my blood sugars in front of my audience. I do this because if you want to reverse medical problems with healthy keto living, metrics matter. It shocks people when I test my blood sugars and I get numbers like this, 49. A few weeks ago, I was near the end of my fast, about 48 hours in, and my blood sugar came back this low. It did not phase me, but I got a lot of concerns from the comments of the folks who were watching the show with me. Michael wrote in saying, please address blood sugar in terms of how low it can be allowed to go while ketoing or fasting. You reported your value of 49. In general, web sources indicate that below approximately 55 is severely hypoglycemic. And another person wrote in saying, what do you mean your blood sugar is 50? Isn't 50 too low? I thought it was supposed to be around 70. Usually, my live happens at the end of my fast. I added some heavy exercise in recent months to the first day of my fast. And when I saw that 49, I was delighted. This is the goal. This is one of the reasons why I fast. If you don't eat carbs, your body needs another fuel. You burn ketones and healthy people are able to switch between burning carbs or glucose and ketones and fat. They burn ketones, this blue line, when their bodies are stressed. This happens at night when they have not eaten for several consecutive hours. This also happens when I fast for a couple of days. But your body also burns ketones when it's stressed. This means like times of exercise or when you have extreme temperature exposures. I am fat adapted. When I don't have enough carbs, my body easily taps into the fat that I'm eating or the fat that I've stored and makes it into ketones. This is not dangerous because I'm able to make ketones rapidly as soon as my body needs them. That is being fat adapted. Flipping between using glucose and using ketones is something my body does routinely. Here you can see over a typical week in my life, I begin fasting here on Sunday. And I fast for 36, 48, or 72 hours. As I do that, the glucose gradually declines while my ketones rise to the occasion. And I practice this over and over again. I recently added exercise to my Monday fast because I want that stress early in my metabolism. I want my body to test. As I practiced fasting over the course of, I mean, I've been doing it now for several years, my body has better reached this plateau of how, I, how it responds when I stress it. When I add exercise now on Mondays, it really does increase my ketone production and it will further lower that glucose during that stress. As Michael says, Google will tell you that my blood sugar of 49 was really low and is considered severely hypoglycemic. But when you look at severely hypoglycemic, you will always see this little side note that says, ask your doctor, your numbers may be different. Well, I am a doctor and I know that hypoglycemia comes with sweating and shaking and confusion and dizziness. And these are the symptoms of a body that's starving for a fuel. As I said, my body knows how to get fuel from fat and from glucose. And that is how I can safely see those numbers. If my blood sugar is dangerously low, but I feel fine, then I am fine. Yeah, if your blood sugars are low, you will feel bad. Not only am I okay with numbers like that, I actively strive for blood sugars in the 60s each week. Numbers like this mean that my hard work, my moments where I said no when I could have said yes, are paying off. My metabolism is getting a really good workout and that's why I'm fasting. Just remember, this is possible because I am fat adapted. 
I am efficient at making ketones and adding that fuel to the options when they're necessary. In the 1930s and 1940s, normal fasting blood sugar was in the high 50s or low 60s. Now that number is 70. We've moved the healthy fasting blood sugar simply because the average is higher. And there is no reason that we should have moved that. There is very convincing evidence that the people are less metabolically healthy than they used to be. Check out this study. Adult generations of today are less healthy than their counterparts of previous generations. This looked at a large cohort of the risk factors of metabolism, of how healthy they are and what the risk factors for heart disease were. And despite their youth, these younger folks were less healthy and it's not getting any better. Yes, there are three reasons why I strive to get my blood sugars into the 60s. The first one is autophagy. I want to lower the inflammation in my body. I have two options. I can burn glucose or ketones. And if I hang out only in the glucose department, then I will age faster. I will grow things. And I don't just mean my race waistline. I will grow things like cancer and plaques in my brain for dementia. And in order to counterpart that, I not only have to stop growing those things, I have to reverse them. And that's autophagy. If I want autophagy, I have to switch that fuel to ketones. And even though I've been doing this for years, my body adapts. If I want that longevity, if I want that maintenance and repair in my body, I have to have hours each week where I live in a ketogenic state. And to do that, I need to fast. I need to fast and push my metabolism during that time. The final thing is what's going on in my liver. Yes, every day my liver fills up with glucose, especially on the days when I'm eating. And that fuel will be used first. So as my body is getting more and more used to using glucose, there is still this trickle of ketones found throughout my, my bloodstream. So that low level ketosis, when my body gets under stress, the liver does its job and donates the glucose, that stored glucose. And I know that I'm hitting that emptied liver that time of enhanced metabolism when my glucose gets to 60. At that point, my body will take those fats and spin them into ketones, as well as start to make glucose out of fat. That's gluconeogenesis. And that is guaranteed to be happening when my glucose is in those 60s. Those are a few of the reasons why I fast. If you wanna learn more about why do I fast, check out the next video, I'll teach you there.